And I'm talking about Little Bootsy. Take a listen to this that has had people hot all week. I'm training them boys right. I'm training them boys right. Ask any of my, 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 my nephews. Ask any of them. Ask my son. Yeah. They were 12, 13. They got hit. Yeah. That's how it supposed to be. Yeah. Hell yeah, I got my fucking son dick sucked. You fucking right. <coughs> yes, a grown woman. Grown, super grown. Super grown. Checked his ass out. Checked all my nephews out. Super grown. Is she grown? She checked me out. I know what the fuck she did to them. She checked me out, that bitch. Well, I couldn't really man. hear it. Uh, I, in essence, he's yeah. got a 12 year old son. He's got some nephews, and he's been forcing them to get their penises sucked by the same women that suck his. Um, what? And, <laughs> and that's, I'm going to give it to you first. This is the same man that had all these degrading things to say about the way D Wade and Gabriel Union was raising their son slash daughter. How is this behavior any better than R. Kelly by having and forcing grown women to suck his son's penises. I mean, man, come on, man. 12 years that's, old. That's not, that's child abuse. That, that's, 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 I mean, that, that is a, I can only imagine that that is, that, that if, if he's, if that's really happening, that's just a form of, 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 of sexual abuse. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, he and, may not be doing the act itself, but I'm sure it's some, so I'm sure it's akin to pedophilia on some level. You start talking about preteens and, Sexual activity, that's some sort of, that's some form of, of, of pedophilia. I can't imagine that, I can't imagine that dude isn't, doesn't gonna have the, the, the local sheriff knocking on his door sometime soon and, and with, you know, with child safety protection, sir, you know, the CPS in tow taking his kids and arresting him. I can't imagine that that, if this is really happening. I can't imagine that that's not coming soon. T Streams, what you think? I mean, man, th this is, this is some real R. Kelly shit right here, man. I mean, he's got some whacked out perversions as it comes to sexuality, what it takes to maintain sexuality. I mean, this could hurt that little boy into going the opposite of where he's trying to force him to go. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely, you know, I, I had similar experience as a, as a young man with, you know, with my dad and uh, man, I tell you it, it does something to it does something to a child where you you know with your whole perception of things and so you know it's it's not good and then too it just <clears throat> it just shows you the you know how how the, how a depraved mind works and this is this is 2020 right now everybody is doing what whatever uh whatever that's you know sexually gratifying for them because it is widely accepted now does it does it take away from the fact that that this is still a form of abuse no it doesn't because it is um and and i wouldn't be surprised if you know where he is didn't find a loophole to you know to to tangle him up into some conspiracy to you know conspiracy to commit child endangerment and stuff they they can flip it and you know they can flip it however they want to flip it and you know and him being who he is uh recently you know someone that was that was uh that was in the penitentiary doesn't really don't have that much you know that many more chances left dealing with the penal system so he, he has to be very 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 careful but the thing now becomes uh, what's going to be the future mentality for, you know, for the kids, because for a man, you know, it can, you know, for a young boy, it could, you know, it, it can't have adverse effects. You wonder why, you wonder why dudes or young men have, uh, have this, you know, this, you know, all hoes ain't shit mentality or, <clears throat> uh, they, you know, they, they dog, you know, they dog in them and all this other kind of stuff because they don't, you know, they don't know how to uh, to take that emotion or that experience and properly translate that that emotion. 
And so there, there's going to be some adverse effects. And every last one of the boys, I guarantee, I guarantee you that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you're going to have, I can only imagine they're going to have some negative feelings towards women if they grow up thinking these were grown ass women that were doing this to me. They knew it was wrong and they chose to do what was wrong because they wanted the money that they were being paid to do it. Because I can't imagine that these women were just freely, you know, unless they're just sexual abusers on just regular, just every old day, sexual abusers happy to have found a child they can abuse. I, I just assume that they're doing it because they're getting paid. And that's going to that's gonna mess those little boys up. Mm-hmm. I mean, on multiple levels. Right. But you want to know what the, what the, the biggest problem of this entire scenario is? Is what? that this is a wide, this is a wide stream belief for uh, young men, you know, especially Generation Xers, you know, and those that's, that that came behind the baby boomers. This is a widespread belief that this is what you do with your this is what you do with your son. You take him out and you get him a shot. And this is, you know, this is not it's not a secret. You know, this stuff, it, it goes on and it's and it's in the open. And it's almost like a, a freaking bar mitzvah or something. It's like a rite of passage for some people. But it, uh, it's, it's definitely not right. No, nah, because it's like, where's the fine line between doing things to make your child who they are versus back in the day, we complain about men nowadays being somewhat soft, softer than what we were when we was growing up. Mm-hmm. But this is to the way other extreme. You do not take a 12 year old boy who's probably not even comfortable looking at himself naked yet and force a grown ass woman on him. I mean, my God, with me about to be a parent in less than six weeks, these things bother me to no end because this could ruin that boy's life. And whereas Boots is thinking he's making him masculine, he's making him a man's man, blah, blah, blah. It could really turn out that this boy be messed up in the head becomes gay or suppresses those feelings if he has those feelings and takes it out on someone in a bad manner and let's say that he does you know stay heterosexual how do you think he's going to be treating women right you know poorly yeah very poorly and so having said that i think we're all in agreement that this is disgusting and this is not how you make a man's man in today's society right yep